Hi guys, it's Lindsay Ann, and I think you're going to be super excited about my special guest here on the show today. This is my friend Michelle from thewholesmiths.com. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here, Lindsay. Thank you so much for coming on. If you guys have not checked out her blog yet, you have got to go see it. What can we find over on thewholesmiths.com? I share recipes that are super easy to make. They're fun, they're delicious, and they're a lot on the healthier side too. Very nice. Okay, so what are we going to be making today? So today we're going to be making a three-ingredient ice cream cream two ways. And we're going to be making a super simple chocolate ganache to top them off. So what's really great about these is that they're dairy free, all natural, and they're so easy to make. So they're basically like low cal, vegan, gluten yeah. free. It's something everybody's yeah. going to love. Okay. I'm really excited about this. So what flavors are we going to be making today? I cannot wait. First up, we are going to be making a chocolate peanut butter cup ice cream. And second, we're going to do a strawberry banana ice cream. So we're going to start off with my favorite part, the best part, which is the two ingredient chocolate ganache topping. We've got 10 ounces of chocolate chips and then one cup of coconut cream. Okay. And to get the coconut cream, what you're going to do is you're going to take one can of full fat coconut milk, put it in the refrigerator. What's going to happen is the milk fats from the coconut milk are going to harden up to the consistency of butter. So once that's hardened, we're gonna pour it into the saucepan and then add 10 ounces of chocolate chips. And we're gonna melt that all down together until it's combined and smooth and creamy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into a bowl and let it cool down so it can harden up a little bit into that oh nice, thick, God. creamy chocolate sauce that we love. I just wanna like dive in and swim in that. That looks right? amazing. So now we're moving down to the ice cream. We're starting with my favorite chocolate peanut butter cup. All you're gonna need are frozen bananas, coconut milk, and peanut butter cups. So we're just gonna take three bananas, peel them and break them into pieces and pop them into the freezer overnight. They're gonna get nice and hard, so they're gonna give you that really creamy consistency that you get in an ice cream, but it's just bananas. So we just pop these right yep, in? Yep, just pop them in. Okay. There we go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one quarter cup of coconut milk okay. and add that in. And can you use any milk for this? Like can you, you use regular milk, yep. or almond milk? Yep, any kind. Okay. And then we're gonna blend it on high speed until the chunks are gone and it's nice and creamy. Okay. And depending on what speed and what power your food processor or blender is, mm -hmm. you may need to add a little bit more to help okay. get that creamy consistency. So like a quarter cup to a half a cup, yep. any kind of milk. Absolutely. Okay, this is easy. You pretty much can't mess it up. So now's the time that you get to have a lot of fun with it and customize it however you want. We're gonna add half a cup of chopped up peanut butter cups. And we're just gonna set aside about a quarter of a cup for the topping. So you can really add anything at this point, right? Absolutely. You can add Oreos, you can Ooh, add- Ooh, for like a cookies and cream. Yes. Or like- M&M's, nice. whatever you'd like. Any kind of candy, go nuts. Absolutely. So I dumped that in. We're gonna give it one more quick blend just to combine everything. It looks so good, I can't wait to try yes. it. Yes, and now's the very best part. So you have two options. What you can either do is eat it as is, out of the blender for more of a soft serve type of yogurt. Or for people like me who just can't wait. Right, me too, I'm the same way. Yeah. Or you can put it into a container or a bowl and pop it back into the freezer and it'll harden up a little bit more like a traditional ice oh, cream. Oh, nice. And that yep. way you can save it for later too. Or... Absolutely. Oh, look at all those chunks of peanut butter cup. Should we pop this in the freezer while we make our second flavor? Perfect, sounds okay. good. Wait, can I I give it like a little try first. Mm. <laughs> Be wise. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> so for our second flavor, we're gonna do something a little bit healthier with a strawberry banana ice cream. All you're gonna need are the frozen bananas, coconut milk, and freeze dried strawberries. So we're gonna use the same base with our bananas, add them into the blender. Okay, and then our coconut milk, or any kind of milk you want. <laughs> So next comes the mix-in. So we're gonna use freeze-dried strawberries for this. Can I try one? Absolutely. I've never had these before. Yeah, they're great snacks. Oh, it's a really good, wow. This right? Is a really intense strawberry flavor. Totally, which is great for the ice cream. <laughs> so we're gonna add about a half a Try cup of that in, yep. Then if you crumple them up, they make a really pretty topping. Oh, so that's why I love using them. They look see, super festive. She plans. She has, she has <laughs> a plan in her head. You can also use frozen fruit as well. Yeah, so I actually have a recipe on my blog where I took 
frozen cherries, made a cherry chocolate ice cream, and then I took the coconut cream and made a whipped coconut cream oh, for the top that sounds with a little so bit good. of honey. It's amazing. And then we're gonna blend it on high speed until it's nice and creamy. All right, so that's it. Oh, Super nice. easy. And you totally picked this because it's pink, and you know I, I did. Would love it. My kids love it. Kids love this, and. I don't know, especially in the summer, they're always wanting ice cream and frozen treats. And this is one I just don't feel bad giving them. Right, because it's healthy. Okay, now let's do a little taste test before Sounds good. we pop this in the freezer. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is so creamy. Really good. You get a lot of the strawberry, yeah. right? Okay, so is our ganache ready and nice and thick at this point? Our ganache is ready. Yes. Okay, so let's pour the ganache on. We'll do some toppings and then we can dig in. Absolutely. All right. Oh yeah. This looks so nice and thick and creamy. Okay. Yeah. Now it's time to put it all together, you guys. All right. So I will ganache these babies. Oh, look at that chocolatey goodness. I love how much it thickened up in the fridge. Right. It's like a nice fudgy chocolate sauce yep now you don't only have healthy desserts on your website you also have amazing dinners and lunches and breakfasts and snacks where can everybody find all of your super awesome healthy fun recipes yes yeah, so you can find all of that at thewholesmiths.com and i'm all over social media oh nice okay so if you guys give any of our healthy ice creams a try be sure to tag us in a photo on instagram or facebook or twitter let us know what kind of flavor combos you created we'd love to see them so there you have our three ingredient ice cream i'm gonna try mm. Mm, wow this is so good I'm so good wait i want some of yours that means I'm stealing some of yours too. Mm. Oh my God, I don't know which one I like better now. I'm gonna be showing the complete strawberry recipe with all the instructions on my website at lindsayandbakes.com. And you can find the chocolate peanut butter cup recipe over at thewholesmiths.com. You guys, be sure to check them out and leave us a comment down below and let us know which flavor you're gonna try first. Strawberry. It's gonna be peanut butter no cup. Way. All right guys, we hope you loved the collaboration. Thank you so much for stopping by, Michelle. Thank you for having me, Lindsay. Oh, this was a blast. It's been so much fun. We're gonna dig in and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.